Let him come and find me. I've had enough of this trying for work. Why should I go round and round like a blooming squirrel in a cage? Give me a job, sir. Take a man on. Got a wife and three children I have. Sick of it already. You might have seen a lot here in the rock. Jones, you come down to the demonstration and I'll roll flag and listen to ruddy orders and come back as MTGK. That's what some of them seem like telling me the sheep. When I go seeking for a job now and see the brutes looking me up and down, it's like a thousand serpents in me. I ain't asking for any treat. But a man who wants to work ain't allowed. That's a wrong start, ain't it? A man wants to sweat the soul. Or a man wants to sweat the soul out of his breath. Ain't he allowed? That's freedom. That's justice and the rest of it. The other day, I was at Edgewater Road. Governor, I says to the boss, take me on, I says. I haven't done a stroke of work not in these three months. Takes a heart out of a man, I says. I ain't a, I'm a hard worker. I ain't afraid of anything you can give me. I'm a good man, he says. I've had 30 of you here this morning. I took the first two, and that's all I want. Thank you, didn't rock the world, I says. Blasphemy, he says, is not the way to get a job. Now move along. <laughs> Don't you raise your voice because you're starving. Don't even think of it. Take it like a sensible man, can't you? Take a line down. Yeah, a few feet up the street, an old lady comes up to me and says, You want to make a few pens, my man? And she hands me her dog to hold outside of the shop. Fat as a butler he was. Tons of meat had gone into making of him. It, it, it did make her feel good. It made her feel charitable. But every once in a while, I could see her staring at that window for fear that I should make up with the bloomin' fat dog.